so today's video is the extremely long overdue completing my 80s paper part 2 photo card collection so um this is the stack i have to put away and actually this is not even all of it because a lot of the later fan signs that got announced i've actually bought them all from twitter but they haven't come in yet because I pretty much bought them all together with the um costume mmt photo cards and since those just came out like yesterday um it's all getting set together so those won't be in until those get shipped out but whatever those do i'll put them away in just a normal sorting photo cards video and this binder is where i plan on putting all the photo cards i originally made a video setting up for this comeback but since then like 15 more sets have been announced or something so i went ahead and put the sleeves in for that on my own time also this used to be my victim binder but i decided to put all of those cards into another one and turn this one into my second ats binder because my other one was full and there was no way that all 30 of these pages were going to fit in that one but with all that out of the way let's get started so the first bunch of pages is for the album cards which are all of these and yeah i am like crazy for collecting all the fan sign sets or most of them when almost all of them are like or the first ones are just dupes of the album photo cards but whatever so this will start with the version a set which are all of these I have had all of these cards for like two months now because the comeback was literally in March and it's May now. But I don't know, I've just never got around to putting these away because I was just like waiting for the leftover ones and then I don't know, school's going on and I never just really had time for this, but today is finally the day. So here is this set. This is version A, version one. Then we have version A, version two, which I love this set, although Sunglass card really ruins it for me. He doesn't look bad or anything, but his card is outside and it just has different lighting and it really doesn't match the set at all. I don't know why they chose that card for this set. Like, as you can see, this one just does not fit the vibe. I don't know, these ones are so much different and I really just wish his card was different, but what are you gonna do? And also, Hongjun's doesn't have any red in it because the red wasn't showing, but I love these five. These five are the best. And then in my original setting up video, I put all of the limited cards at the back, not with their respective versions, but I decided to put them back up with their respective versions. So that's where this is. So this is the version A limited cards. Also, this is quite possibly my least favorite card from this whole era. Um, Why does it look like this? This card is so, like, dingy and, like, brown. Like, why is it so dark? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, this card is dark, but not, like, that one. I don't know. That Sunglow card is just not it for me. But it's pretty much, like, my only card I don't really like in this era, considering I hated almost all of Fever Part 1. And I'm pretty sure anyone who, like, watches my videos knows that I hated Fever Part 1's photo cards. But these ones really are everything. Okay, this card is also not one of my faves, but... I love the rest. Next up is the diary version, and yeah, this is where, um, it is so embarrassing. Like, why do I have these when this is the exact same set as the next set I'm about to put in, but... And clearly this was just an afterthought, because they clearly did not need to have two sets, because Fever Part 1 only had one set of diary cards, and they obviously didn't have another photo shoot, because they just repeated the same set twice. Some of the cards are, like, semi-different, but, like... San and Sungwa's are like the worst offenders. Like their cards are truly the most identical. Some of the other ones, I guess, changed it up. He at least, I don't know, these are different enough. I mean, it's not great, but whatever. This is literally terrible. Like he just put his hand in the frame. And you know, added a finger heart. I'm like, I don't know why I'm applauding the bare minimum, but no one can be worse than Sans. Like, he literally just winked in this one and, like, sort of smirked more. And now for a second page of the exact same photo cards, but I'm fine. It's fine. And there's this page. And then next up is the diary limited cards, which I actually like a lot. Especially the Sungwa card, it's like super nice. 
kind of ironically, the diary version photo books is like my favorite concepts out of everything because of like all the Louis Vuitton outfits. I just find it so aesthetic and the photo books are super pretty, but they're like my least favorite photo card sets. Actually, this is one of my favorites, but those two just don't really do it for me. Also, if you've ever seen a Jango template, all of his regular album cards, his head angles this way, like this one, and every single one of his benefit cards, like fan sign, pre-order, etc., his head angles this way. But this is his only album card that angles that way. And it just, anyway. Next up, we have the version Z cards. This set really isn't my favorite because they're not that cohesive, but they're still nice. I really like the ones of the members who are like in front of like the outside green screen. Those are like my favorite ones because they look the most matching. And that's this page. Then this is one of my favorite sets out of the whole era. And I actually have this set like three times because it was multiple fan sign benefit sets. But this set is just so nice. I love these outfits. They're from the Studio Choom video. And these are some of the best photo cards ever. Sadly, the blue and orange of his outfit isn't really visible because it was like on his pants. But I mean, it's not really that much of an eyesore like the way his other card was in that other set or Hongjun in the same set because that one really didn't have red but this is not that noticeable and you can see it right there but anyway this is one of my favorite sets this is one of my favorite song cards of all time also this and this this set deserves so many rights and then this is probably my favorite album set out of all nine that's probably like number two or this is number two but I love this set so much. They're so nice because they're all outside and the coloring is so bright and pretty. This is quite possibly my favorite song card of all time, only rivaling his epilogue version A M M T. But oh my god, this card is so beautiful. His hair looks so good and like the lighting and everything about this. This card is revolutionary. Never been done before. Yes, here is this set. Also, I have like 10 of this genre left over. But yeah, I love this set. Also, this hat looks like a witch's hat. So, love this. And then, that is the end of the album cards, the limited cards. Now, these three pages are for the MMTs, and this is the worst era of MMT ever, because the cards are absolutely identical to the regular album cards. Usually in the past, I feel like everybody knows that the MMT cards are always better than the album cards. Like, for epilogue, finale, like any of the ones that were selfies, they're just better. But these are identical, like as identical as you can get. Look at this. It's literally just going the other direction. And like, Lord knows why I collected these. And this is his limited card and this is his limited card and yep. And then these are all the same. I mean, the album cards were already the same, but then I go to this page like hello why did these exist and why do i own them like this is so tragic and the most idiotic thing i've ever collected but here we go so i really have no commentary about these because they're the same although this card is better than that limited card i was crapping on like this one is so much brighter and less awful Then, you know, and I remember uh, when the photo card previews came out of him in this lip ring. Pretty sure, like, the internet broke. Like, that was the most revolutionary thing that ever happened. Oh my god. And Sun and Leon. Jango. Yeah. So, this is version A MMTs. And then the diary MMTs. I really love these diary MMTs, even though they look just like the album cards. They're more of a cohesive set than the album cards because the framing is really equal, mostly due to Yosan. So I actually like these MMTs more than I like the album cards. So yeah, like you can see like his, this is more equal and back here, his card is just like too zoomed in. And like this is also not equally equidistant from the camera, the framing. So... Yeah, I actually really prefer this set. 
So not mad about having these, even though they're similar. And then lastly, version Z. And that is the last MMT page. Then we have the other fan sign benefits. So this is K-Town for you, which pretty much look exactly like those, but they're just more zoomed in. This is like probably the best card of this, one of the best cards of this whole era. This is the most adorable card I've ever seen. We have Home June, and this Sungwa also doesn't really do it for me. I don't know, there's something about this card. He's too like awkwardly in the corner. It still like matches the set enough, but yeah, not my fave, but my other faves are definitely you know and San and William because they're the other ones that are outside. I don't know, I just think those ones are so cute. Son, I really like this one a lot because I think I like how this ring matches his hair. And then the most beautiful William card, and then Jango. Then next up is Apple Music. So these are the diary concept. This row is like, the pocket is like tighter than this row, so it's like harder for me to like put the cards in on that row. Cool song. Song. Booyah. And. Song out again. I really like this set. I think they look really cohesive. And then the order that I have these in here, it's not really any like specific order, and it's not like chronological order, it's pretty much just the way I want them. It's kind of like in reverse order of favoritism, which I do that a lot. Then next up we have Sonara, and this is um, like a duplicate of one of the sets up there, but I love these cards so much. This is, like I said earlier, one of my favorite sets, and I originally only planned to get San and Wuyang of this, but actually one of my friends on Instagram, Doll Trades, Christine, actually managed to get me and Brianna like sets of these for like the most amazing price I've like ever seen, so shout out to her for getting us these because these are like one of my favorite sets ever, so... I'm so happy to have these. Like, this is a dupe set that I do not mind having. Like, I would honestly want any amount of photo cards in these outfits. Like, this Son card and this Wuyun card, amazing. Then, John Rowe. So, like, this column is just, the sleeves are, like, less wide or something. Then the next company we have is Makestar, and this is the first round. Honestly, Makestar was the realest of the real this era, and they gave two photo cards per album bot, and one of them was hollow. Like, that's kind of unheard of and, like, crazy, especially for ATs where they're, like, so stingy. Well, I guess it was more on Makestar's part than, like, KQ, but it really worked with getting sales. I thank you, Makestar. And I don't even really care that these are, like similar to the album cards because first of all that one's so much better than all of those other album cards that look exactly like that and then i don't know these cards are so bright and pretty and like this one is way better than that other limited card that i said i didn't really like because it was like really dark and brown these cards just are so cute especially this jongo like this is adorable okay and then the last the third and final set of th these outfits which i cannot sing the praises of enough also if you like really look at this card his eyes are kind of like not looking at the camera and he just looks so derpy. Kind of just like the person made him take this photo. They just said like, oh, time to take a photo. And like his eyes are kind of just like staring off the nothing. This card is so adorable and endearing. Oh my God. Also, this is like my favorite Hongjun look from this era, like his bowl cut or whatever. It's not, it's not like a normal bowl cut, but I just like love this hair on him. I liked it more than all of his other hairstyles. Yes, this set, so pretty. Then this page, I don't have these on hand yet because they're coming from Twitter, but I actually ended up getting the full OP7 set of the Y Global Music Hollows. Once I saw what they looked like, I was like, yeah, I want to get all of them. So that's what this page will be for. And then this page kind of changed it up. So I don't have any of these on hand, but this will be for Yes24 OTK Music, which I ended up getting Yosan for. And then Beat Road version 2, which I actually want OT7 of, but I just gotta figure out how to get them. Yeah, these cards, they're literally doing Ningi's heart cheek pose. And clearly since there is 
no minky cards this era. It's like, I really need to make it my goal to get these like quickly because I don't know, it's just like a little like nod to Mingi, which is like so cute. So I definitely want to move these off this page once I figure out where to get the full set from. And then here we move on to some more cards I have on hand. So this is for Make Star 2. I really like these cards a lot too. This is like where the cards start being unreleased photos, like not from the era, like all that stuff up there. Most of these are all from the fan signs and I'm like glad that the cards are finally not duplicates anymore. This card is so good. Also, this is one of Wooyoung's best cards ever. Like he looks the cutest I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. This was like everybody's era, but like most of Wooyoung's cards look the best. I think it's John the card. And Yosong, oh my god. There's another Yosong card that's like, um, music plant or something where he's like wearing the same shirt these are like the selfie versions of the music plant cards and i really want that one of his i don't plan on getting i don't have any music plant and i don't have like any on the way or anything but i really want to get a couple but yeah here's this page these three are like my faves then the next page is the second set of make star hollows i think my most recent video on my channel is me like opening those albums like just for these and these are so cute they're all doing like this tiger pose and these are adorable although these cards are not very cohesive because after the young line like after the first three they really just don't match anymore like if he was on the first row if this was like an ot8 layout these are all like super zoomed in and then these ones kind of get not zoomed in these ones just do not match with these so i wish they were all like that but whatever super cute anyway Yeah, that's this page. I I like that the background is all white. Normally, I don't really like plain backgrounds, but I think the white background really suits these white sleeves and the white fillers and all that. And then these are on the way. Um, don't have these on hand. But yeah, these are where they dressed up in costumes for the fan sign. And then the actual last cards I have to put away right now is Market Shop. Also, Who's Fans or whatever that company is. And this is my favorite set of photo cards from this entire era. Out of all photo cards, I didn't originally get these from anywhere, and it was like my goal for me to find these from somewhere to buy like all of them at once because these cards are so pretty. I love the coloring of the background, like obviously they're in front of like the backdrop thing, but these are just so pretty. Also, this Hongyun, like look at his hair. This is like the best his hair looked all era. I mean, he's had like 15 different hairstyles this era, but Sungwa's hair, like these are so pretty, especially the son and this wearing and Strongo. I don't know. I also love that they're wearing their headphones i don't know they just look super i don't know it's mostly the coloring is so pretty like they all have like a purplishy pink tint even if that's not necessarily in the photo they just are so pretty so i am so happy to have these cards sometimes me and brianna make this joke lol i'm not gonna lose sleep over not having those i actually was losing sleep not having these okay not literally but it's this photo card set was the highest of prio ever when i like saw the previews of them also, like, Sungwa is, like, in the background of his own card, which is really funny. And then Hunter and Jango are in the background of that, you know? I think that's so funny. So, here's this page. Amazing, flawless, stunning, spectacular, never been done before. And then back here at Hot Tracks, I actually don't plan on getting, um, all of these, because I don't really like them. They have, like, filters on them. Not like I don't like the filters, but it's just the set's not really for me. But I want to get Son and Young for that and, um, put them here and i want to get beat road of everybody so i'll probably if i end up getting them i'll put son and William young hot tracks here i actually have all of music art coming in this set they're all doing like cat ears which is super cute they're another set with the fan sign background so i'm getting all of those and then yeah i'm gonna try like so hard to get all of beat road version too but yeah, that's currently all the cards I had to put away. And then these last pages are for the Sub K merch that came out where you could get three whole photo card sets for $25, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, that's what this is for. And since they're from this era, I mean, they're pretty much duplicates of the photo card sets up there, but, and they're not selfies, they're just concept cards, but I still want them. And since they're OG7, they're just gonna go with the back of this binder. 
that's pretty much all of it now i will do like a huge flip through of this i think there's 27 pages or something like counting those sub k pages so this binder okay this is absolute madness and i literally will never do this again why i cannot believe i collected all of this i really wasn't planning on it like this is crazy but flip through so version 8 version 1 version 8 version 2 and a limited cards then diary version 1 version 2 and the limited then version z version 1 version 2 and the limited love this then version a mmt diary mmt and z mmts then this is where the other benefit cards start so k-town for you apple music sonara make star and the hollows and then this will be for wide global music and these three companies and then make star version 2 and the hollows and then this will be for mmt2 i don't really know this layout is kind of tentative i might switch them around once they are on hand and then last set for the binder is market shop my favorite cards ever and then more pre-planning so yeah i'll just leave it on this page to end the video but yeah this era has honestly been crazy i think they're finally done with all the fan signs i think they've had all the last calls um, lord i'm praying and it's like i feel like i've been very active in the photo card community and off community but i feel like i've been super active in just the like getting into these cards because i've been making templates for all the members for these so i feel like as cards come out and i see that i have to add them to the template and also adding them to the template makes me kind of like want to get them i don't know i feel like not like it made sense for me to get all of these but it was kind of just like as i was making the templates it really just flowed along with like seeing them and like really wanting to get them so yeah i feel like it also helped me get really really in tune and up to date and accurate on what these cards are and where they're from and i can honestly tell all of the cards that look identical i can tell which company they're from like on glance like even the ones that all look the same i just know where they're all from because i've been staring at these for so long but anyway i'm so happy these cards are all finally put away and this binder will be so satisfying to flip through all the time especially when the last couple sets and cards i'm waiting for come in and those will all definitely be in a regular storing photo cards video when they all arrive feel free to comment down below um who and what you collected for this era but yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video